I was always called, I was always called, but before I became a pastor, I was in the program called Hope Center Ministries, leading men out of addiction. I went through the program. There's women in here, so I'm not going to be inappropriate, but just as men, I'd rip my shirt off and show y'all. Ladies, calm down. I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 14-inch scar up and down my stomach here. In 2018, I was moving methamphetamines for a one percenter group that I was a part of, and I took a 9 millimeter to the side. The bullet stopped the eighth of an inch from my heart and strapped it all the way down my spine. I still have a slug in between my L3 and my L2. I bet you don't. The slug's still there, but I'm not in pain. I had x rays Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. Um, we're going to command that to go. I was dying in pain, and I was going through this, and my counselor that I was in the Hope Center with said, I know this guy, I'm mad at him, because he prayed for me, and I was healed, and I can't tell the difference in the weather no more. He was mad about it. And this is an older He's still gentleman. mad. He's very mad. So he brought me to this guy, and I'm telling you, I had faith of like a half of a mustard seed in this situation. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I believe in prayer and I believe in God. So I go to this guy at this event downtown and he prays for me. And I don't think nothing of it. But I wake up the next day and I knew that my pain was gone. I knew that it was from the power of God. And I knew it because this man prayed for me. I haven't hurt yet since. Still, the bullet's still there. I do burpees, squats, lift weights, run, jump and jack. I did a backflip at Hawaii recently. Um, I'm, I don't hurt there anymore. I may have other problems, headaches, and um, sometimes I'm in the doghouse with my wife. But other than that, uh, I've been healed in that area. And I just give all the glory to God and thank you. And that's the testimony that I came. And his friend was calling me and reaching out on me on Facebook. And I just kept ignoring her. She's back there videoing me now. I know it was. And he called me and was like, hey, you remember when we talked the conversation? I remember. And I was like, hey, what an honor it would be to have you come to our church. And um, we, we need healing, guys. Yeah. All you have to do, believe. Be Amen. bold and courageous, Joshua 1, 9 says. Have no fear for the Lord thy God is with you. Let people pray for you. Let people heal you through the power of God. Let God heal you. All you have to do is be willing. There's people here that need it now. And you're sitting in that chair, scared to get up because the devil's putting a clutch on you. No more shackles on your feet. Be free in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. No more any pain, no more headaches, no Amen. more. Thank he give us Jesus. authority and dominion over all from this day forward. And let all that shrapnel or whatever's in there just go right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.